Well, hello my friends, I'm back. You know sometimes you are doing something on a lathe and uh, sometimes you just lose the interest. Yesterday I wanted to come out here all day and I was just, I don't know what's going on with me but just exhausted. Um, I just couldn't bear being out here and I started this piece last week and last week I probably could have finished it but I didn't because maybe the heat is getting to me over here which is uh, a little bit To receive wood but I must say I have so much wood that I don't know what to do when I get new wood other than it putting a certain amount of pressure for you to produce something nice no matter what it is a gift piece of wood is always the hardest to do because you want to do it justice and I think the justice is served with this piece but uh, he told me that it was Cuban mahogany and it's not it was red in color on the outside from uh, exposure to the sun but as it, it's as white as can be on the inside the cuts i know it's green but i do a lot of green wood turning so this is not the reason why but i'm getting a lot of tear out raised fibers on this and it really doesn't matter how i cut it whether if i'm going with a push cut pull cut scrape or whatever but you can see that here and here not so much here but definitely here it's all torn up grain torn up grain at this point I probably could sand it and if you have a hard time sanding wood grain one of the things that I suggest of course you can do water you can apply a sanding seal and it will stiffen up those fibers but one thing that I find that works pretty well is if you lightly torch that area and you basically are burning up just those fibers nothing else so anything that's raised up will torch and it will come off very easy with either sanding or re-scraping so that's my trick that I can give you that will give you a pretty decent clean cut. You're force drying it. So at this point, literally I could go in here and sand this down. Thank you for turning, this was last week's turning. It's pretty true. Let's see what that did to those fibers that were raised up. And you can see that it cut them down pretty quick. I do still have these darker spots because I was making ridges on purpose on this piece for a different design. But I'm going to end up taking them all down and getting this flat so I can get rid of them.
Well, I have something new to try out. My good friend, Glenn Senior. I guess I uh, got in touch with Jeff Pauling, I think that's his name, from the uh, Walnut Log. The Walnut Log in the United States is the uh, distributor for Yorkshire Grit. And uh, I guess my good friend uh, Glenn uh, contacted them and uh, told them to send me a new Yorkshire Grit microfine abrasive. So I just received this, have not tried it. I know how much I've, I swear by the original Yorkshire Grit, um, which the original is a uh, wood turner's abrasive paste. So uh, now he's produced a micro. And I don't know. I, I'm not going to. I'm going to give it a shot and see what it does. But this working as well as it does on its own, I can't see how anything can possibly touch this. Um, I've said this many times. Now, I used to wet sand everything that I did on the lathe until I started using this. And technically, I still should be wet sanding even with this. But I don't like giving myself any extra work if I don't need to. So if I'm happy with the results with just this, then I'm perfectly happy with doing less work than, no, uh, than more work. If you are trying to achieve something that's even better than what I'm achieving, because you might not like the subtleness that I put into my pieces, you might want a higher gloss than what I'm achieving, then you go extra steps, extra sanding, or maybe even sanding sealer prior to applying this. And prior to this, I used to use sand and sealer, or else I couldn't get a good finish. Uh, different woods absorb the uh, finish different from each other. You can do the same technique from one piece to the next, uh, sand it just as much, even in some cases, sand the one piece more than the other, and the one you did less sanding shows up better than the, uh, the one you spend more time sanding. And that's all based on the wood. If you apply in this, or apply in a sanding sealer, it, it enhances the wood a great deal and you get much more uniform finishes than you will otherwise.
for a live demonstration and a visit. So I'm just going to screw this up and uh, make a little globe piece, screw up the bottom to fit, and uh, that should be all I have to do with this piece. I was looking for it. It's over here. Yep. This has to be one of the prettiest woods. Too bad I don't have much of it.
uh, inside is not bad. The wood was rough cutting. Um, very, uh, a lot of raised grain with all the cuts on this. Reminds me of some of the woods that I've done that I really could not really finish it off. To get it somewhat smooth on the inside, I ended up torching it all inside to dry up those fibers completely and was able to scrape them off and sand them. <clears throat> that uh, helped quite a bit, but still not a piece that I'm extremely proud with, proud of. Uh, added the little lines to it to enhance it. Um, when you have a piece that's not its best in design or wood grain for that matter, you, if you add a little bit of a detail, it might set it off and might make it okay. In my book, this is not okay, but it's done. It's not going on a fire pit, that's for sure, because I know somebody, I know some of you, will really like it. We'll think it's the greatest thing on earth. Uh, but that's what it's all about, you know, different eyes, different people get attracted to different things for whatever reason. And you might be partial to something like this. And it's not my style. Kept the natural edge. I thought it needed it, but it really didn't. The design that's here could have all very well been without that. It wouldn't have lost anything. Um, like I said, the only thing that I really needed to offset it was a much bigger foot on this to make it work. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.